Hey YouTube, it's Bia. Um, sorry if I'm a little hard to understand. I'm actually sick with a cold in June. Anywho, um, this is for Tuesday, of course, and, um, see? Stuffy nose. <laughs> the topic is, like, um... Will I be taken seriously if I do get treatment but am not considered underweight or at an anorexic medical weight? And this is some this is a topic that, you know, I find very important because when I was admitted into the hospital I was not at an anor I'm so sorry I was not an at an anorexic weight I was very very underweight but I was not yet at that like whatever stupid number it was supposed to be like I don't want to mention numbers so I'm gonna try not to but um you know, I was, for my height, I was at at least 25 pounds underweight, and I apparently still wasn't considered anorexic weight. So, my insurance company was being all bitchy about that. But then, you know, my doctor sent them my other stats, and they were like, oh, hey, this chick's gonna die in like a week. Maybe we should give her some money. But, um, I know that most people who suffer from eating disorders, um, always think that they are not thin enough to get treatment. I know that, like, 80% of the time that I get, you know, viewers coming to me and asking me questions and whatever, blah, 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 blah they're always like, I don't think I deserve to get help because I'm not thin enough yet. And so that I always reply with, Honey, you can die from an eating disorder at either 80 pounds or 180 pounds. It doesn't matter how thin you get. And no place is going to judge you on your weight. I mean, if you, for instance, I know a lot of you guys have probably watched the documentary Thin by Lauren. Lauren or Laura Greenfield, something like that. And um, and it's as said at run through. There were some very skinny girls there. And there were also some girls who looked quite healthy. Very healthy. They were very, like some girls were quite curvy. And they were at run through, which is a very intense facility. Like it's all about eating disorders, you know. It'll... And they let them in, so you're going to be let in too, no matter what your weight is, because you're still at a risk. Okay? You are still at a risk to die. It does not matter how much you weigh. And when your insurance policy does not, they sometimes they just don't know that. You know, it's their job to not give it out so easily. But, um... Your, make sure your doctors send them the rest of your information or they write a letter. That's what my doctor did. He wrote a letter and told about my situation, you know. And they can most likely be swayed. And if not, don't lose hope. And it doesn't mean that you're too fat to get help. It just means that the insurance company's dumb shit. So, screw them. Um uh, but a lot of places will give um, financial aid. And there are a lot of cheaper places. There's outpatient, which can be very cheap sometimes. Just gotta find the right place. Um, but it really breaks my heart when all of you people. Hold on, my dad's coming. Gotta pause this for a second. Sorry about that. Um, where was I? But yeah, so just I know a lot of you think you 
have to be a certain weight, that there is a certain standard for an eating disorder victim. But there really isn't. I don't know who's putting that into your minds, but actually it's yourself. You, of course, have this idea of perfection, but, and you're always, people are always saying, yeah, but once I lose five more pounds, maybe I'll go into treatment. That's going to turn into another five pounds, and another five pounds, and another five pounds, until you're dead. I'm sorry. It's the truth, though. But, um, you can expect when you go for help at a normal weight. I mean, if you go to the right place, if you go to a legit eating disorder, um, play, um, center, they, uh, they're not gonna think any more or less of you. Because they've seen heavier people skinnier people, people just the same. You're not the first or the last. And, you know, I was in a hospital-based one. And, um, you know, I mean, I, there were, I compared myself to other girls. There was three girls there who were thinner than me. And I really, like, you're going to compare yourself, and it's it's not worth your time. I'm telling you this right now. It's not worth your time. Don't do it. Because I thought I was the fattest one there. I thought I was ridiculously obese at 25 pounds underweight. You're always going to think you're not thin enough for treatment. Treatment is not about who's skinnier. Or who's more toned. It's about your own health, preserving your wonderful life, and no one's gonna judge you on that. People are gonna be so proud of you for taking that chance of recovery that you just need to do it. Don't look back and don't second guess yourself because of your size. When you're, you know, in all reality, probably like a lot skinnier than you think you are. Because I know all of you guys have distorted body image like I did. And I do still sometimes on some days have it. But does it really make sense how you can look 20 pounds heavier one day and on the very next day look 25 pounds skinnier? No, that doesn't make any sense at all. So that's my little public announcement video. I would like to wish everyone very good luck. I know summer is a a very popular season to go residential since they're out of school, and two is also a very very stressful season with bathing suits and everything. And it's summer, at least in the Western Hemisphere. Um, but. You know, like I always say, you guys can always come to me, because I've been through what you've been through, and I'm here to listen, and I'm going to, I'm about to do some crazy ass stuff this week with, um, recovery, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be really hard, but, um, you know, I'm always here for you, I'm always here to listen, email me, Facebook me, text me, you know, well, I'm going to get going now, stay strong, and I'll see you guys next week.